Hello friends, as committed in my last video, I will be helping you to learn to write welding procedure specifications, widely called as WPS. Before starting to write a WPS, there are several other preparations have to be carried out. So I will be explaining each one of these steps practically as well as theoretically in my next few videos. Today will be an introduction to these various steps. So let us start. Here I am going to explain how to write a welding procedure specification. How to write a WPS. I will be explaining you each and every part of a WPS and a variety of other things. Welcome to Welta QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies and my name is Vincent. If you are responsible for the welding activities in your company, you should have the qualified welding procedure specifications and qualified welders whether you work as a quality control engineer in QQC department or a production manager who manages the welding and fabrication or even if you are a factory manager you should ensure to have the qualified welding procedures or qualified welding procedure specifications or widely known as WPS. Whether you have a small welding workshop or a multinational manufacturing company, your ultimate goal should always be to create a high quality product with a safe and long lifespan of it. No matter how experienced your welders are, to consistently provide welding quality of the high standard, you should not merely rely on them to simply guess the best way to accomplish a specific welding job. Instead, you should provide a list of directions and specifications to execute an excellent weld in any situation. To maintain consistently high standards, you should implement a welding procedure specification for every type of weld in your company. Now let us see what is a WPS, welding procedure specification. Welding procedure specifications are written instructions for welders on the shop floor to follow. This ensures sound wells are produced efficiently and consistently to the required standards. A welding procedure specification or WPS sets broad guidelines for the shop and field welding practices. It shall include all the essential variables as per the welding code. Welding parameters and ranges are specified and used to prepare the welding procedure technical sheet or also known as welding procedure data sheet. Every fabricating or welding companies shall have WPSS for each and every welding processes in use. For example, if you are using Submerged arc welding or SMAW, shielded metal arc welding or uh, MIG welding that is GMAW or uh, TIG welding that is GTAW, you should have a specific WPS for doing the welding activities. A welding procedure data sheet or a technical sheet is a document used in conjunction with the WPS. As mentioned earlier, a technical sheet shall show the details of the welding parameters and ranges for welding a specific joint over a range of 
thicknesses and well sizes as shown in the data sheet. Please note that there are pre-qualified welding procedures available with various codes. Also, there are standard welding procedures available with the agencies like American Welding Society. However, you may have to take the approval from the client if you intend to use it. Uh, so it is always better to go with the welding procedure by you. There are two types of WPS you may be requiring. One, the WPS for your company's general welding activities. Another one could be project specific WPS. To start with, we will be discussing about the WPS for the, uh, the company's purpose or employer's WPS. So now we will be discussing about seven basic steps for WPS writing. One, identify the welding process type of wells and the welding standard, the applicable welding standard. Two, determine the method of approval. Three, prepare draft WPS, that is PWPS, preliminary WPS. Four, Qualify the drafted PWPs. That means you will have to uh, get the welder to uh, do the, w, uh, the welding test as per your pre preliminary welding procedure specification. Fifth one is prepare the final WPS and PQR. After getting the results, successful test results, you can prepare the PQR and the WPS. Sixth one, once your WPS and PQR is ready, obtain the approval from the clients. The final one, file the approved PQR and WPS and all other records. So in the next videos, I will be explaining you how to complete these seven steps. So that's all for the today. I will be back with the next part of the same topic at the earliest. Thanks for watching and goodbye. See you in the next.